Here in the Low Country, we have many things that we are proud of. But for those of us in the arts, we really take pride in the USCB Center for the Arts. Alan Schuster is here today to inform us about their current events and specialty shows which provide good and enjoyable entertainment for all. Help me welcome him to the show. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Alan, okay. That was easy. <laughs> it was. So let's talk about uh, what's up and coming, the opera. The opera, okay. uh, they are performances, live HD performances on Saturday afternoons at the Center for the Arts in Beaufort. And uh, they start, I think the first one is October 5th. Okay. Uh, with a Russian opera by Tchaikovsky. And I should point out for people who like opera, they're used, for the most part, they're used to operas that are sung in Italian and uh, French, which are, it flows very nicely. But if they come, they'll be very surprised that when you hear an opera in Russian, Within 10 or 15 minutes, you're no longer thinking what language it's in. You just absorb the music and go with the flow, I guess you'd say. But uh -huh. that starts the series, and there are 10 operas that run between October 5th and I think the last opera runs sometime in April. But they're all on Saturday afternoons. Okay. Now, for our viewers who aren't familiar with opera, they don't know what an opera is, tell them what they would expect if they were to attend. Well, first of all, I, I think what attracted me to opera when I was young, I hated it. The first time my mother and father used to listen to it, I would say, <laughs> shut the door, I'm trying to study, you know. But the first time they took me to the Met, which was long back in the late 50s, I guess, uh, I realized that uh, it was a combination of the, so many of the great things in, in more than music, but it's uh, most of the operas are built on uh, plays that were written by Shakespeare okay. or by... Uh, Tennessee Williams, anything. Okay. And uh, so you get, first of all, stories that uh, the, the libretto, the stories, which are very, very well known and, and add to it. Then you put together the greatest composers, and then you find that the probably argue, you can't argue the fact that the best singers in the world are opera singers. That's true. I mean, someone will say that David is, Bowie, but I mean, it's, right, uh, yeah, there's true. no comparison, you know? I mean, the So vocal, you put it all together. Yes. And it's, it's, it's overwhelming, Some, depending on the operas, it's, the experience is overwhelming. Well, how do you go about casting? We're here in the low country. How do you find opera singers? You would know you like music. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> I was waiting on that phone call. I sat by the phone yeah. all day. <laughs> well, it, it starts with... <laughs> it begins with uh, people who, who are young and take an interest in music, or someone discovers that they have a voice and, and encourage them to move and uh, study classical music. And uh, if they are interested, they'll go to some of the great schools in Europe, uh, elsewhere, uh, Juilliard in New York City. There are so many places where they can go get a good education from some of the great teachers in the world of opera. Uh -huh. And uh, it's, it's, it takes a long time. I think Robert Murrow, a great singer, he said once that, uh, he says, it takes 10 years to learn how to sing, then it takes 10 years to learn the operas, and then it takes the last 10 years to earn the money. <laughs> that's yeah, for that, that's, now, that's correct. So it's a 30-year commitment if you want to sing <laughs> opera, at least. That's true, because you do it because you love it. You exactly. Know, if yes. you're in the arts, you, you love it. Yes. And it's a part of you. And it just makes us who we are. It makes this country who we are. That's because true, without yeah. the arts, you know, it, life would be so different. Yeah, it, it exactly, really would be. Yeah. And I'm so proud of USCB for them to make this a part of their curriculum. I oh, think that's incredible. I, it is, too. And, uh, and, uh, uh, it's been a privilege for me to do it because okay. in a way I, I think selfishly sometimes by saying that if I can come to a show per performance like this or write a preview about the opera and uh -huh. two or three more people come, there's a better chance that they'll renew the contract every year and I'll get to see ten more operas. That's right. <laughs> so, now, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite opera? I have a favorite opera, yes. Uh, and people ask me that from time to time and I usually say, oh, that's a difficult question to answer, but I finally got around to saying yes, my favorite opera is uh, Mozart's Don Giovanni. Okay. But then I'm quick to point out, but my second favorite is a 10-way tie. Okay. So that leaves me room to say, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's a Rigoletto's a good one. Uh, yeah, La Traviata's a good one, too. But, right. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, on the uh, schedule today uh, for this, this season coming up, uh, I think there are probably three, maybe four operas that if I was to make a list of what I thought uh -huh. were the great operas, there probably three or four of them are in the top 20, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And it's a very subjective thing. People will disagree, but La Boheme is on the uh, list, and that's one of the great operas of all time by Puccini. Okay. So is Tosca by oh, Puccini. Okay. There's a Mo an opera by Mozart. There's an opera by Rossini. And, of course, Tchaikovsky, which is the first one 
uh, Eugene Onegin. Glad you've joined us. I tell you what, Alan, I'm excited because I know a lot's happening there and you're going to come back and be telling us more because uh, this is just information everybody needs to know about. Oh, thank you. Okay. You come to one of the operas, I'll come to listen to your jazz band. That's a, that? that's a deal. All right. Okay. okay. You and I, we have a deal. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. <laughs> All right. You've been watching Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Candace Whitson. And coming from me and the team here at WHHI, we say thank you. It's been a pleasure.